Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph, you didn't already know. In today's video, we are doing a skincare routine video. I am super excited because I've been wanting to make a video with these products to share with you guys simply because they are super affordable and truly amazing products that I use every single day. Um, this is going to be my night skincare routine. I usually just do my skincare set at nighttime because that's when it has time to sit on my face and really soak up into my skin and it works way better because I'm not putting makeup or anything on top of it in the morning. So. Yes, I will also be showing you guys how I tint slash dye my eyelashes and my eyebrows because I have recently started doing that like every like four weeks and I noticed a huge difference the first time I did it. My eyelashes are like a little bit blonder on the bottom especially so I saw the biggest difference in my bottom eyelashes and you guys will see that. Just stay tuned if you want to watch that as well. And yeah, let's go over to my bathroom and we will get started on the skincare stuff. All right, so we are now in the bathroom. I need to wash my face and we're going to be using some Biore products because your girl loves Biore. This is their new wedge hazel line. It's seriously freaking amazing. It has cooling properties, so let's just hop on into it. Um, the first product we're gonna be using is their Biore Pore Clarifying Cooling Cleanser. This has acetic acid for acne treatment in it. Super freaking awesome. I love this stuff because it foams up super great. I feel like when you use foaming products, it really helps clear your skin more and it feels like it's actually doing something to your skin other than products that don't foam up. I feel like it's not doing much, so. This is amazing. It has a really nice cooling sensation after you wash it off. And then after that, we're going to be using the Biore Witch Hazel Pore Fine Fine Toner. And this toner is amazing. This stuff seriously gets everything off of your face and it has a cooling property as well. So you're gonna be feeling nice and clean and like almost minty fresh on your face after you're done using this. It's freaking awesome. Last but not least, we're going to be using their Witch Hazel Pore Strips. This is for ultra deep cleansing for pores. I love their pore strips in general. Biore has some of the best pore strips I've ever used in my life. There's other ones that are way cheaper, but this stuff is so much better. It's only like seven bucks. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I like to steam my face before I put these pore strips on because it opens up your pores more and helps you get more of the gunk out. So next you wanna use this product after you've already washed your face and stuff and you wanna make sure your face is dry for this. Trust me, you don't want this getting wet. This is the Ordinary, the AHA 30% BHA2 peeling solution. This has alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids, so it can increase your sensitivity to the sun. So I recommend using this at night because then you won't be going out and having sun damage or the fear of sun damage on your skin. But I would recommend use this once a week. It does have a tingling sensation, so don't freak out if you buy this and it has a feeling. It's working on your skin. So I find that this stuff really makes my skin smooth and I love it. Who doesn't want their skin to be smooth? So you're supposed to let this sit for 10 minutes. If it's burning your face too much, I would just go ahead and wash it off as soon as you want to, but I would at least let it sit on for five minutes so it can actually work its magic somewhat. And yeah, so I'll see you guys after I wash this off. All right, we are back. My face is clean. I feel beautiful once again. We're going to move on to the eyelashes and the eyebrows, my favorite part. Now this can be, I wouldn't say tricky, but you need to do this right, especially removing it because it can get in your eye and you do not want that. So I use the 1000 hour eyelash and eyebrow tint slash dye. I saw this on a TikTok actually and I bought it and I used it and it's great. Um, this stuff usually lasts about two to four weeks on your eyelashes. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna notice a huge difference, but I definitely see my eyelashes are really dark. So if you have blonde eyelashes, I would recommend trying this. I have this in black, and I think they have like a brown or something. Um, it's waterproof and sponge proof because it is a dye, and this whole thing lasts up to 12 months. And you'll see how, like you're gonna think, how can that last up to 12 months, but a little bit a long way, trust me. So when you open this, it comes in this thing. You can see I've used it a lot. I've had this for a couple months now, maybe, two or three months, but I use it every two or three weeks just to touch it up. It comes with this dye. It's a little dye and it looks small. A little goes a long way, like I said. And then it comes with the developer as well. It also comes with two little spoolies. I like to mix with this one and use this on my eyelashes. And this one I like to use on my eyebrows because it's like a bigger, thicker spoolie for eyebrows. And it looks like this. It came with little eye things to put under your eyes, but I threw them away because it didn't stay and it felt like they were pointless. What I do, you literally need a little bit, especially because you're just doing like eyelashes and stuff. I use, I feel like I'm gonna look naked in this whole video. Oh well, don't demonetize me, I'm not naked. I literally put the smallest amount. That's the amount 
I put. You could even put probably less than that, honestly, if you're just doing your eyelashes. But I'm also doing my eyebrows, so. Then you get this developer. It has a little stopper on the inside. And then what you're gonna do, I literally just put two drops, especially if I have that small amount of dye. That works. And you can add some if you need more. And then this mixing process kind of takes a little while. It takes a couple minutes. You're gonna wanna get this and mix it in here. It's gonna take a couple minutes because this dye is not, it's thicker. So you wanna really, really, really mix it until it gets darker and starts like developing better because at first it's gonna look like just gray water, but then it'll mix. So I'll be back when it's done mixing. All right, you guys can probably tell the mixture is way more thick. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and show you how I apply this. All right, you guys are really up close and personal. Ew, gross, I need to get rid of that. It hurts so bad. All right, so. My tips for you guys. I use this thing. It's so small, you can see it's on the end of it, the die. I'm gonna need a mirror for this because I'm not doing this without a freaking mirror. The best way I could show you is just literally go straight to the root and all the way up. It's like you're literally applying mascara. That's all you gotta do. Do not get this in your eye. Try your best not to get this in your eye because it will burn. And it does burn, it doesn't burn. It just kind of stings a little. Like if you were to get like a face wipe, makeup remover wipe in your eye, that's like the sensation. Like it's not terrible, but it will hurt a little bit if you do get this in your eye. Bottom eyelashes, I get the tip like this and I kind of go like this at first. So it gets a ton of product on the tip of the eyelashes because I feel like that's where it's the most lightest. And then you can go to the root again and kind of work it down and just, if you get it on your skin, take it off like that. I'm gonna do the nice eye and then I'll come back and show you guys how I do my brows. It's pretty simple though. All right, eyebrow time. So this is seriously so simple. I just dip this in the dye and I follow my brow shape. So it's pretty, pretty easy. Nothing too much to explain, but if you do put this on it too much, it will tint through to the skin. It won't stain it, obviously it'll come off, but like, I would do it lightly, make sure you're getting it mostly on the hairs. And if you do get it on your skin, make sure it is the skin behind your eyebrow hair. Because if you get it over here, you're gonna wanna take it off because it'll be there for a little bit. But Witch Hazel does take this stuff off really well. So your eyebrows sit for like five or 10 minutes and your eyelashes sit for like 12. I think this is five, this is 12. But I do the longer, I do this one like five or six and then my eyelashes I do like 15 just so they can get a little bit more darker and my eyebrows are already dark as it is I just like to add this because it keeps my shape I feel like and I don't have to fill them in as often when I do makeup or anything like that so yeah I keep this less because there's more hair and it'll develop faster and make more of a difference all right so the way you want to take this off you want a wet cotton ball and you want to go up this is going to look so weird but you want to go up and then you can go down I recommend going up and down and up and down because that way your eyes are closed and you're not getting any dye like in your eyeballs and you're just getting it right up to the root and it helps and you can go down and then it'll wipe away but don't do it too harsh because you don't you don't want to rip out any eyelashes or anything and then eyebrows same thing well you can just do it like this you can push up a little push down a little but again don't do it too hard because you do not want to take out any hairs. <laughs> All right, I do have a few more steps until we're done with my skincare routine, and this involves a micro needle, little blade roller thingy magogger. I think they're called a micro needle roller, something like that. They have the tiniest little needles. I don't even know if you guys can see what they look like, but they're literally so tiny. This is the smallest size needle, I believe. I got this at TJ Maxx for like $10. They had a lot there. And what I do before I use this is I sterilize and rubbing alcohol. So do that before you use this. It helps a lot to keep it clean. You're not opening pores and putting more dirt in them because that's pointless. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do this whole micro needling situation. I was scared to do it at first because I didn't want to do any tears in my face, I didn't want to make my face look worse, so I did watch some videos on this and this is the tips I got, so I'm going to share with you guys as well. When you are using it on your skin, you want to do it, you don't want to put so much pressure and you don't want to do it fast. So I like to do it in different directions, so I go like this, I'll do it like five times, and then also go this way. I'm doing this so that the needles can be poked in different directions on the same spot on my face. 
Now, if you have places where there's acne, like on this side, I have acne scars, be more gentle around the area. Don't push as hard or go right as many times because you don't want to make any more tears and rips to keep that scar there. So I'm just going to go over it like that and like that. But then I probably won't go over it much more after. And then the forehead, it is... This is the most painful. I don't have any tattoos. I want tattoos, and this is kind of what I imagine it's going to feel like. Let me guys know if that's even equivalent to it, if you guys have, had, have tattoos and use this. But this is what I imagine, because it's tiny needles going into my skin. <laughs> it is sensitive after you do the macro needling, obviously, because you're poking a lot of little holes in your skin, and that's gonna help absorb all the products we're gonna put on, but don't be alarmed if your skin starts stinging a little bit when these products are put on. It's because you just opened pores in your skin and it's signaling them to like, hey, focus on me more. So that's what that's what's happening. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Dr. Dennis Groth Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Serum. I've used this and talked about it before. I just mainly place this stuff right on my nose and right underneath my eyes because that's where my pores are the most. And I'll put some a little bit on my chin even though I didn't do the micro needling there. I still will focus it there because it is quite hydrating. I'm going to go in with the Ordinary products. I love the Ordinary. So this is their caffeine solution. 5% and this helps reduce the appearance of eye contour. So if you have like like dark eyelids or under eye circles, bags, red eyes, I don't know. I have had problems like my whole life with dark circles on my eyelids. Probably because dance, I used to wear a lot of makeup and rub my eyes. But this stuff has seriously helped that. So I like don't even take a drop. I just dip it in and then I put it on my eyelids because seriously, a little goes a long way. And then I just rub that all over my eyes and call it a day. And my eyes feel super, super moisturized and hydrated and I love it. So another product is the Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I love this stuff because I have a really oily T-zone, especially around my nose. And if you didn't know, applying oils and moisturizers to the parts of your face that are most oily actually helps reduce oiliness because your nose gets super oily due to the fact that you are dehydrated and your face is trying to create more oils that you don't have. So I've noticed putting this stuff on your face seriously has helped my oily skin, especially on my nose. It is a godsend, so I would recommend trying this stuff out. I do have one more product to share with you guys and it's from The Ordinary. Once again, I swear this video is not sponsored by them. It's not, I just obsessed with their products, but this is the Ordinary's Vitamin C Suspension 23 and, and HA Spheres. 2% silicone free, water free, sustainable suspension, whatever that freaking means, that's a lot of words, but I have talked about this product so many times because it's so affordable, so great, and it has seriously helped me get rid of my acne scarring. I swear to you, this side used to be like this, and it's gone, and I recently just got this pimple and the acne scar. So I'm gonna be putting that just seriously a little bit on my acne scar because it does help reduce the redness and it helps shrink it. Which this is funny because I don't even think this is made for acne scarring. This is seriously made to like reduce wrinkles and pores but it has made my acne scarring go away. So that's what I use it for now coincidentally. All right, so that is it for my skincare pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I look like an oily baby but that is okay we love that for us we look very dewy and fresh so if you want to see any of these products and buy them for yourself i will have them linked in the description check out the beauty ones because seriously that product all of which hazel stuff is just life-changing and the ordinary stuff obviously i have a lot of it so these are brands i really trust they're seriously super affordable i think everything's under ten dollars so go ahead buy it i think you can buy the stuff at like ulta and target and stuff like that so yeah buy this stuff if you do let me know down in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys